hello and you're welcome to my channel if you're an old subscriber you're welcome back and if you're new here please and please hit that subscribe button subscription is free it won't cost you anything at all okay so today i will be showing you how i make this fluffy soft and amazing homemade bread this is a butter bread yes it is homemade it is nutritious and it is healthy because it has low sugar content all right let's get right into it for this recipe i'll be using three and a half cups of flour half teaspoon of salt one over three cups of sugar i will also be using two tablespoons of butter you can also use one tablespoon but i want this bread to have this buttery flavor I will also be using 2 tablespoons of milk which is very optional I will be using 2 and a half teaspoons of yeast then 1 cup of water you won't finish this water but add it little by little until you get the desired consistency you can also finish, you can use up all the water depends on the strength of the flour so this is all purpose flour, you can also use bread flour for this recipe alright then I'm going to be mixing all the dry ingredients together first. First, I pour in my flour, then I add in my yeast. Mix this a little bit. Then I'm going to be adding the two tablespoons of milk. The next thing is my sugar. This is one over three cups of sugar. Then I'm going to add this, mix this, then I'm going to be adding in my salt okay so the milk is very optional but because this is for home consumption i have to make it very rich okay then i'll be adding in my one cup of water i pour this all at once because i know the strength of the flour and i know yes it can contain all the water so for safer purpose pour the water little by little until you get your desired shape so now I'm going to be using my hand to mix this together. Make sure you are using a very clean hand to do this. Okay. So I'm going to until I'm going to be mixing this until it forms a dough. So once it forms a dough, I'm going to take this to the work surface. Or in this case, my pot. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be mixing this. Then it is time to add a margin. I'll be adding this margin. I'm going to divide the margin into three and I'm going to be adding it once at a time. Once I add the first part, I'm going to mix this together until it is well incorporated. Then I'm going to add in another part of the margin. You can use any margin of your choice for this. So I'm going to mix this well together. So this is the butter is incorporated. I'm going to add the last part of the margin. Banging the dough on the work surface allows the dough to knead more properly. All right. So as you can see, this is not knead well at all. So I have to knead it for extra 20 minutes until I get that desired stretchy elastic dough. So we are needed for 20 minutes I have the desired texture I want for my dough you can see how stretchy this is right now so this is the consistency this is the texture you want you need to make sure you need it once you get an elastic dough so the next thing I'm going to be doing is to be molding my dough into my bread pan so this is my bread pan this is the pan I'm going to be using to bake this bread this pan right here I is buttered. I already buttered the pan. I used the butter to um, um, grease the pan. Make sure every side is well coated with margin. So I'll be dividing this dough into three. Just use your eye to eyeball it. You can also wait if you want. Oh. Just use your eye to eyeball this. So 
So after um, dividing your dough, then the next thing is to be rolling the dough on your work surface. So when you are when you are kneading the dough, make sure you bang it on the work surface because this allows the dough to knead much more faster. It's going to reduce the time you're going to use to knead your dough. So I'm going to be rolling the dough um, on the work surface. I'm sorry, my camera didn't capture the whole process, but I'm going to show you the second part of the dough. I also rolled second do and the third do as well so next thing is to fold the dough so once you fold you use your hand the tip of your hand to make sure it is well folded this this is not going to allow the dough to open during the proofing process so when you are proving the dough this will not allow it to open up so make sure you are using tip of your hand to press down the dough as you fold just like that so i'm going to be sealing in the end just like when you are making your um fish roll seal in the last part of the dough just like that then i'm going to rub this on my work surface to allow everything seal more properly so once you roll this out properly make sure the sealed and the end that we sealed is facing down to the pan it's facing the pan okay? it's facing the pan downwards so these are these are not going to allow the dough to open during proofing okay so i'm going to repeat the same process for the second dough as well you know we have three dough we cut the dough into three parts so i'm going to roll this as well while using the tip of my hand to press down as i roll so when making um for my bread for commercial purpose you shouldn't divide the dough into three parts you shouldn't okay so i'm going to be dropping the re the recipe and the method used for making commercial bread make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the video this video is loaded because i've worked at two bakeries and i know what i'm talking about when it comes to bread so I'm going to be sharing my recipe for commercial bread. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the video. Make sure you turn on the notification bell. Very important. So once I post the commercial bread, you won't miss it. Alright, so this is my third dough. I repeat the same process for the first, the second and the, now the third dough. The dough is now ready for proving process. So I'm going to allow this dough to prove for about one hour. So make sure you cover this and place it in a warm place. So after about one hour, the dough has risen, and now I'm going to be baking the bread. So after baking, this is all I have here. All right. So I'll be cutting a part out of the three parts. This bread is so soft and so buttery. You can see, you can literally taste the butter. You can even have more margin or butter if you prefer. Okay, so look at how soft the bread is. Even after cooling, it is still very soft. Look how soft and fluffy it is. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting out this slice from this bread this bread is so filling after eating two slices you are okay yes and it's so soft and fluffy as well okay please and um, please subscribe to my channel i'll be posting the video of commercial bread this week so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification 